Thanks for inviting us in on this Thursday evening. The final plan for a federal vaccine mandate is out tonight and not everybody is thrilled about it. In fact, most employers nationwide have just a couple of months now to figure out the vaccine plans for 84 million Americans. So tonight at 11, we wanted to dig into the hefty fines employers would face if they fail to follow these rules and Indiana's role in this growing legal fight against the vaccine mandate. But let's begin with the basics of how this all actually works with just weeks before it takes effect. To start, here's what the requirements look like. The first rule is issued by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA. It basically says you're required to get vaccinated if you work for a private company with 100 or more workers. Employers also need to pay their staff time off to get the shot and provide sick leave for any side effects. If you don't get vaccinated, you'll need to get tested weekly and cover the cost. You also need to wear a mask. Companies have until January 4th or they could face thousands of dollars in fines. And the second rule is issued by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. It requires healthcare workers at facilities receiving federal money to get vaccinated by the same January deadline. But for this one, there's no option for weekly testing. It's working, we're making progress. And this latest rollout Nicely. from the Biden administration is causing some backlash, including from the Hoosier State. Attorney General Todd Rokita and the Labor Department are filing lawsuits against the federal government, arguing only Congress can make a sweeping vaccine mandate. This is a direct attack on states' rights. This is a direct attack on individual liberties and freedom. Uh, and it's a complete overreach of the federal government. Senator Mike Braun is also leading a group of 40 Republicans to challenge these new requirements. Being able to make these kinds of decisions yourself and not the heavy hand of government coming forward. In a statement, Governor Holcomb agrees the vaccine is the best tool against COVID, but says the approach is, quote, unprecedented and will bring about harmful unintended consequences in the supply chain and the workforce. Top Indiana Democrats also weighed in today on this new federal vaccine mandate and our state's new lawsuit fighting it. They say it's the responsibility of state and federal leaders to help Hoosiers put the pandemic behind us. They argue Indiana needs more people to get vaccinated in order to move forward. Most major hospitals around central Indiana already have some sort of a vaccine mandate in place, and some workers have already lost their job for refusing to get the shot. IU Health laid off more than 120 workers in September after their vaccine deadline passed. We also heard from Eskenazi health nurses that same month who applied for medical exemptions but were denied and later lost their jobs. Community Health also announced a mandate that took effect in September. And Ascension St. Vincent has a vaccine requirement for employees that goes into effect next week. This impacts 160,000 people across 22 Indiana facilities. Now keep in mind all those mandates just mentioned were all imposed by the hospital networks before that federal mandate was finalized. But right now it's not certain if this latest legal challenge to the Biden requirement could impact hospital decisions down the road. You can follow along on WTHR.com or through the WTHR app. And that wraps up tonight's big story.